Take a shot every time I say toxic. Get the Okay, so this week it was uh, the debate. Vote now. Are you gonna pack the Make court? sure you, in fact, let people know he doesn't you're want to a senator. The I'm not going to answer the question Why because, you answer that because question? the you question is the question Supreme is just this radical question, left. Will you shut who is up, your, man? Listen, who is and a lot of people were messaging me asking if I was going to make a video reacting to the debate. And I thought to myself, like, okay, yeah, like I could. But I could also choke on a bowl of thumbtacks. So I've decided to make a video about something that requires even less brain cells to talk about. Gender reveals. Post filming Matt here, I wanted to add this. Someone on my last video commented something along the lines of like, he wears a hat to cover his hair. Yeah. No shit. I'm Jewish, which I think is pretty apparent by my last name, and I have some nice little Jew curls, and I like them, don't get me wrong, but like, nine out of ten days, I don't feel like taming them and like doing the whole product thing. So yeah, I like to wear a fucking little baseball cap. I think it's cute. Leave me alone. Love you. You know what? I just realized that I started filming and we have not yet made a nice coffee, so... Great, so quick shout out to Sarah Shower. This video is inspired by her. She recently did a gender reveal reaction type of video. This video is all- <coughs> <coughs> This video is also inspired by <laughs> recent events in the United States. California's on fire, if you didn't know. One of the catalysts that started the recent wildfires in California was a gender reveal party. I hate it here. So let me tell you what's going on and I'll talk about gender reveals. And then I just want to react to some gender reveals, right? Because honestly, I have no brain cells left. I know. <laughs> no, no, reason, reason being. No, I know. No, no. <laughs> I want to have fun and laugh at things that I think are stupid as shit. If you don't live in the United States, uh, this is what's happening in my country. So let me backtrack for a second. If you don't live in the United States, are gender reveals a thing outside of the US? Basically a gender reveal, the name is misleading because a gender reveal is basically, it's a, it's a baby shower where the emphasis is placed on the genitals of the baby. Um, what's up with that? that? Sounds normal, right? That sounds fun. Who wouldn't want to do that? More recently, gender reveals have become synonymous with doing the most outrageously ridiculous, violent, destructive, dramatic, unnecessary things to reveal the gender, the sex of the baby. Being alive is so fucking annoying. Now the haters are gonna come on here and they're gonna be like, well, most gender reveals don't start fires. And that's true, you're right, most of them don't, most of them don't physically harm anybody. My personal beef with gender reveals is that they almost always conflate gender with sex with gender roles. So usually when you watch gender reveal parties, there's almost always a display of pink or blue, pink meaning girl, blue meaning boy, and then there are usually some other ridiculous like footballs if it's a boy or tiaras if it's a girl and it's a lot of heteronormative gender role normative bullshit where you basically take every stereotype about gender and force it onto this baby that has not been born yet and a lot of times if it's a boy like you'll see the dad cheering really loudly with the implication that he really wanted a boy so that he can raise him to be tough and sports and manly and whatever which didn't work out so well for me anyway I don't want to read too far into this. In general, gender reveals are just like over the top displays of what I consider to be 
toxic gender normativity. I think it goes without saying that gender reveals do not happen with LGBTQ people in mind. In fairness, when I've posted about gender reveals on Instagram criticizing them, some people will say, well, I'm just excited to hold a gender reveal and if my child comes out as LGBTQ in any form, whether it be trans or whatever else, then I'll support them too. And I guess that's fine, but I don't know. I'm just a pretty conscientious objector to traditional gender roles in any form. They really didn't work out for me. They made my life really difficult when it came to figuring out who I was, and I don't think they're necessary to force on tiny, tiny children who aren't even born yet. And I could make a video about every little thing about gender reveals that I don't personally love, but that would require a lot of research and time and energy that I currently don't have the brain capacity for. So instead, let's just laugh at dumb people doing dumb shit and failing at it. Start packing up! Huh? Start packing! If it's blue, you're gonna have a baby brother. Oh, if it's pink, you're gonna have a baby sister. sister. Are you ready? Yeah. Can we eat it? Yeah. It's, it's green? It's green! Well, mommy bought yellow cake mix, so it's blue. <laughs> you have one job! You have one job. Two, three. Oh my god! <laughs> How cool would it have been if you just avoided the whole baseball bat to the forehead situation and just told everyone it was a boy. I'm not trying to ruin anybody's fun. I just think this shit is stupid and borderline toxic. So when people get hit in the head with a baseball bat, I'm like, What is the fucking point? What is the fucking point? What's the point? Get the water hose, Brad. Get the water hose, Brad! Luke, let's go. Oh my god, I'm freaking. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, yeah! 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 Now we got a fire. <laughs> there is nothing more American than shooting something across the pond in your backyard into dry, open, barren trees and woods to reveal the sex of your baby and then starting a fire as a result. We're doing great. So are you having a boy baby or girl baby? <laughs> you have a little brother. The baby is a boy, baby. Hey, the baby in mommy's tummy is a boy. Oh, okay. King doesn't give a fuck. Doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> the, the masculinity, it just gives me a chill. Hold it. Do it! It. It. it won't hurt you! Pop it. You see? Oh. Careful. Oh! You guys, are you serious? Pretty legendary if you ask me. Alright, ready? Go. 
Oh, oh no. No, no. We gotta All right. No. Oh, oh no. Oh, <laughs> I got the video. It's too no. much. Wait a second. Oh, so <laughs> one more time. One more time. One more time. No, look at me. Come on. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. A profound silence has entered the chat. Uh, turn around! Hit me right here! Right here! Hit me right here! Right here! Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Hit me. Right me right now! I'm gonna go for now. <laughs> That's a good boy, man. Blue. We have a boy. Was it worth it? Can I just say, if I ever had a gender reveal, which I won't, this would be my gender reveal. I would be both of them. Can't play sports for shit. I kind of like this one. The baby's gender will remain a mystery. Okay, I've had enough. So gender reveals are, in my opinion, Yes, excessive and dramatic and over the top, but also, in my opinion, perpetuate this like toxic. Take a shot every time I say toxic. Heteronormativity and cis normativity that makes it very hard for honestly queer kids, but also just anyone to grow up and really understand who they are. The Logue Vimanon, who I've talked about before and who is a friend of mine and is just incredible and non binary. Put it best on Instagram, so I'll read their statement. Transphobia is not just about prejudice against individual trans people. It's also a way of thinking that understands non-trans people as more natural and organic and erases everyone else. These ideas, like the gender binary, fuel mistreatment of all people, but especially trans and gender non-conforming people. Gender reveals are based on the illusion that genitals equal gender and that there are only two options, boy or girl. This definition erases the fact that there are boys with vaginas and girls with penises and that there are people who are neither boys nor girls. The idea that sex is based on genitalia is inconsistent with science. Gender reveals require not just the invalidation of transness, but the impossibility of transness. The assumption that the baby is cis. Cisness is positioned as the default and everyone else is understood as derivative of it. The idea goes, while we might identify as trans now, we were originally born cis and we later became trans, when in truth, everybody is just born, and we all become after the fact. So I think that's a pretty fucking good explanation that I generally agree with. Yes, while you may have a gender reveal now and then support your trans child later, why don't we just cut the gender reveal in the first place? Like, do we really need a whole circus of a party to convey what our baby's genitals are going to be. I mean, to me, it's just excessive. I don't know, I could never see myself having one of these because I just think it places way too much emphasis on who the child is going to be in terms of personality, career, hobbies, and everything else based on whether or not they have a penis or vagina according to x-rays of the womb. To me, it's a little weird. Anyway, thank you for watching. Honestly, I just wanted to have fun this week. Make a stupid little gay video to add to my library of stupid little gay videos. If you liked it, feel free to like, comment, subscribe. If you didn't like it, feel free to X out before you leave me some <laughs> shitty comment attacking my character. I love you. Oh my God. Um, by the way, I may be having to take a break from nail extensions because my nail tech told me that my nails underneath are, well, I may have to take a break. This is exactly what I was afraid of. So stay tuned on that. Uh, that'll be unfortunate, but I don't give a fuck. I'll fucking Photoshop nails in like y'all know. Anyway, I love you. Goodbye.